Hey Achievers! Happy Thursday! Hope all is well, you guys. I am doing good. So, if you have not watched the last couple of shorts, you probably don't know what I'm going to talk about, but you do by the title to an extent, right? Um, interview is done. The GCM Relationship Manager 1 position. I just finished my second and final interview. It lasted for 15 minutes. Um, he did let me know ahead of time that it wouldn't take the full 30 minutes. Um, we kind of reiterated about the role. So he told me more about the role and what was expected. We did do a quick little run through about my experience. Um, he liked the fact that I knew um, some of the software that was already used like Lone IQ, Excel, ClearPAR. Um, what else? I talked about my strengths. He didn't ask me what my strengths or weaknesses were, but I did talk about my strengths. I let him know that I was thoroughly detailed, that I pay attention to detail and that I'm a great communicator. Um, and I expressed that a lot when I was kind of going down like my employment history. Um, what else? He talked a lot about like, checklists and stuff and sorry i got an email about another job <laughs> look at that but um he talked a lot about like how they utilize checklists within the work and when he mentioned that i immediately went ahead and kind of like went into a little deep dive if you will and i talked about a position where checklists was utilized as well and how you know you got to go through each step before, like you can't just skip ahead. So I talked a lot about that. Um, and I did that kind of on purpose. Um, he didn't ask if I knew anything about checklists, but that was why I made that aware to him. So that way he can see that I'm familiar with the style of work. Um, we talked about quality assurance and I mentioned how I utilize that in all of my roles just by, you know, making sure everything's good to go, double checking things, um, making sure um, my work is in compliance because, you know, as soon as you make a little mistake, that can become a really big problem. Excuse me, and we don't want that. Um, what else? He didn't, he did not ask me to describe three things, three words about myself, but I let him know one of them. I let him know that I was commercially aware, which means that like I under, I told him, I said, you know, I understand that, you know, the company has to meet a standard. The, the bank has to be, um, the work has to be like, why am I stumbling over my words now? But during the interview, I had it right. <laughs> But I let him know that I understood that, you know, quality work has to be done in the bank and throughout the entire bank. And I understood that I had to do my duty or do my part to have my role be of quality work as well. So that's what I meant by being commercially aware. Um, What else? Oh, I mentioned to him that I was familiar with the loan, the products, the different products that they had. I let him know that I had experience in capital markets, that I had experience in loan agency, um, and that I had experience in trading. So they have like different products, I guess, that they work with. <clears throat> so I let him know that, which is also a way of marketing myself and making myself more marketable. So right now, um, I think he's trying to decide like what team to put me on or like who to pair me with because I have such a vast level of different experiences, which is a good thing, right? Um, so that was a plus. Um, he asked me if I had any questions and I did. Um, I asked, can you tell me about the team? I got notes, y'all. 
but I asked, can you tell me about the team that I'd work on and how many are on the team? So it's kind of like teams within teams. Um, and he stated that, uh, just trying to figure out like where I would be, <laughs> would determine the team. Now this, uh, person that interviewed me was in California. So he's three hours away. So I probably won't work with him. Um, I may see him if he comes to the, um, office, but you know, he said he only comes like maybe a couple of times out of the year just to visit. Um, so I said, okay. Um, another question that I asked and I kind of set this up <clears throat> and I'll tell you what I mean after I go through the question. What advice would you give the successful candidate in this role? And he said, you know, to pay attention to detail, to be thorough, to utilize your checklist, to um, pretty much the work is tedious, according to the first person that interviewed me. So just to continue to keep a level flow and make sure that things are running smoothly. And once he answered that, I let him know that that's not only how I work, but based on the positions that I've had to prepare me for this role, I have, um, you know, had to pay strong attention to detail. I've had my own portfolio or my own like line of work to do on my own. Um, so I understand, you know, the importance of being thorough, paying attention to detail and all that jazz. So he smiled. He definitely liked that answer. Um, he did say perfect one time, um, very good another time and was just very smiling and um, seemed not energetic, but just cheerful. Um, and this person, not what I'm about to say, it has nothing to do with like, um, his background or anything, but this was, um, an Indian man and they are pretty much like by the book. They just, they're all business. Um, a lot of them from when I've interviewed in the past, don't show emotion. They're just so just forward rigid and that's it. Um, it was nice to see this person smile and kind of like show his personality a bit. And I mean, I was smiling a lot, but I'm, I'm a smiler, you know, that's what I do. So maybe I, you know, he was feeding off my energy, but that was a plus, right? Um, and that was kind of it. He said he was going to confer with, um, the first person that I interviewed with and then, let me know. But the reason why I think I'm going to get an offer for this position is because he asked me if I'm able to start right away. And I said yes. And then I mentioned that I lived five minutes from the office. And he made a little joke. He was like, oh, you can go home and get lunch and then come back to work. I was like, yep, I sure can. And I mentioned that, like, you know, I, I drive by the um, building often. I said, it's a very beautiful building. And he was like, yeah, it is. He's like, I'm in California, though, so I don't get there a whole lot. No, I did research on this guy already. He's been with the company for nine months. So he's fairly new to the role as well. But, like, that was cool because... We'll kind of learn together and he's the head of the department. So I don't know if I'll have contact with him or not. Probably not. But like, you know, I know that he's a resource, you know, that I could have down the line. So one of my goals, once I get this offer, because we are claiming this, you guys, um, one of my goals, because this is an 18 month contract, right? Almost two years. And I am going to network my behind off, right? And with me being marketable, knowing the different softwares or different products that I have experience in from other roles, that's going to give me a one up because I'm going to network so much that once my 18 months is up, I don't plan on leaving this role unless something permanent comes up. And that's if it's a government job, I'm going to be honest. 
<clears throat> um, but I'm going to network my butt off because literally because I have experience with capital markets, loan agency, and with their um, trading, that's three different departments that I could work in right there once my contract is up. So I had spoke to another recruiter who reached out to me regarding this position, trying to get me to interview for this role again. Um, she was talking to me and she was saying, you know, it's so hard to get into this bank, this particular bank. She said the red tape is something else. She said if you were to apply, you probably wouldn't even like get your resume seen because it's just that strenuous to get in. So I was just like, oh, okay. Like, you know, um, <clears throat> so sometimes you do have to go through um, an agency to get into a company that can be hard to get into. Um, and I think, honestly, I think that's the same thing with the other role that I interviewed for on last Monday, the KYC slash AML analyst role. I think that's what's going on with that as well. Um, just, you know, tough, just tough to get into. But, you know, what God has for me is for me. God won't close a door that is for me. He is going to open that door. And I believe he has just done that with this um interview i i really I, I pray that's the case um and if not i know god has something better for me but we will see i will keep you guys posted um yeah keep you guys posted and let you know the outcome um the recruiter said that he sent my thank you note over and um he'll follow up on Monday, but I'm like, no, we need to follow up tomorrow if they looking to hire me immediately. Like, I just need to know because it is so nerve wracking interviewing close to the weekend to where you have to wait. But y'all, my cat is just trying to get into the graham crackers. Um, but it's nerve wracking waiting to hear back, but hopefully, you know, they'll make a decision really, really quick. So I will keep y'all posted. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and let's talk in the comments. Bye guys.